Welcome to Toy Soldiers. This is a uh, kind of tower defense styled game. The Xbox version has uh, multiplayer. Sadly, the PC version does not as of now. I don't know if they'll add that in or not, but uh, so far that is not going to happen. Also, I apologize if you guys, if you guys can hear it, but the um, the washer and dryer are running in the next room next to me here. And the next, and the next, next, next. So I'm going to play some toy soldiers here. Um, we're going to be doing, well, I don't know if we're going to do all of them, but we're going to go ahead and start with the standard campaign at level 1 on normal difficulty. I believe I did it on, yeah, I did it on casual earlier, just screwing around. We're going to do all these on normal. Uh, there's rations you can get for uh, each level. You have to do certain things, so get a 10 times combo using an anti-infantry gun, etc., etc., uh, I have my 360 controller plugged in, so all these things down here have the uh, 360 controller scheme. The If you have a controller that you can plug into your computer, I recommend using it. Uh, it is a better control scheme for this game. I, however, am going to show off, at least for the first level, the mouse scheme. So uh, here's a bit of storyline. It's a tower defense. You, as much storyline as you can get in these kind of things. Um, Apparently we're going to be, or Germany is going to be advancing through Belgium. This is World War II, I'm pretty sure, uh, is what it's based on, so keep that in mind. It is a good game. I've played through all but the last expansion on the 360. I have no way to uh, record consoles, otherwise I would have just stayed with the 361 instead of purchasing this, but here we are. Um, you can only put emplacements on these locations here. Uh, obviously, the really large ones can have larger emplacements, but as of right now, we only have two, or actually, we have three emplacements. I didn't realize that. I think you're only supposed to have two, and you unlock this one in the second level. So we have one that, um, I don't know if we're supposed to have it, but you can only place it here because it is a large emplacement. But the first thing you want to do is put a machine gun there. Uh, I usually like to put another one over here and then just wait. The thing with this tower defense, and I'm gonna go ahead and push F to launch them early, is you can take control with this uh, of each of your units and you can use them. So I can chill down here and machine gun down some peeps. Uh, and by the way, that guy on the side shooting, I don't think he actually does anything. But in some levels you will have a wave or two of your own units uh, that wander across. You can kill your own units, I don't know if it gives you anything actually, I'm not going to try, but, um, and there's kind of sort of a, uh, like, ragdoll kind of thing, it's, it's not really ragdoll-ish, it's just kind of a pre-made animation where they fly backwards, but whatever, um, use your units as much as possible, I'm going to probably immediately forget about that, because, quite frankly, I do forget about everything in its mother, because, uh, how do I escape? There we go. Middle mouse. Weird control scheme, as I've mentioned. Uh, and it is toy soldiers, so everything's kind of laid out like you're on like a game board or in a box or something like that. So you can see there's uh, some stuff like there's a coffee mug or whatever. Uh, there's the containers. Regiments of all nations. Good news. Uh, because you, theoretically, should be better at uh, killing stuff than the AI. The AI is not very good at shooting things. However, the the mortar AI, the long range AI, is especially good. At, well, they're better than me because I suck at those. Uh, they almost always hit what they're aiming at. They lead the target perfectly, stuff like that. Um, and there would be the ration since you're supposed to get a ten times combo, and I just got a ten times combo. So there you go. Also. Uh, Especially things like this uh, anti-infantry machine gun thing we have here. The range on it is essentially unlimited, but the AI will only initiate firing once they're in a certain range. And I'm going to continue using the. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm going to continue using F to speed it up, just you know, keep things going. I'm going to go ahead and put a 18-pounder uh, here. This is a long-range artillery, um, and the Stokes here is a level one mortar. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have this thing, but since I have it, I may as well show it off. Uh, it is basically anti-tank is all it's really for. You really don't need to use uh, mortars in this level. Just 
huge stack of uh, these machine guns. There are vehicles in this level, but they're not particularly difficult to kill. They're really weak, uh, low armor vehicles. So, and you can see I'm actually hitting those guys back there. I don't know if it's doing any damage, but I'm certainly seeing health bars pop up, which means I am hitting them. Yeah, I see them lighting red, so as you can see, uh, you can shoot really far with these, but the AI won't do that, because the AI is lame like that. And that's my howitzer shooting. Howitzers have relatively low rate of fire, but they have extremely long range, uh, pretty good splash, and really high damage against like vehicles and stuff, well, really high damage overall. Um, keep in mind that you can overheat this first uh, level 1 machine gun, and I'll level up to level 2 here to show it to you. I'm pretty sure you cannot level up to level 3 on this first mission, so if I can, I'm not going to. I'm just going to ignore that. Like a boss. Uh, the level 2 version, which I'm going to show you now, cannot be overheated because I don't want to sell it, I want to upgrade. Because it uses a clip system, I'm pretty sure. I may as well upgrade all of these guys. Oh, just two of them, never mind. And they will flip over and have this little clock thing, and uh, eventually they will flip back over and be the new upgraded version. So this is the new version. It runs on basically a clip system. It's kind of it's like an anti-tank gun, except for whatever reason classified as an anti-infantry, so whatever. Um, and they don't do it in this first mission, but the, uh, they will fire on your... Well, they do fire, they're just not very threatening. Uh, there are enemies that will fire on your turrets to try and kill them. There are also enemy emplacements, such as enemy mortars and stuff, that you will have to kill in order to uh, advance your own positions. And that turret was actually hurt. That anti-infantry thing was actually hurt. Upgrade locked. Yeah, I can't upgrade that. We may as well... Eh. Can we upgrade to level 3? Nope. Okay. You should be able to hold it, hold the line with this many upgrades. It's It should be relatively easy at this point. But if you want to, you can continue spending your uh, money foods up there to upgrade some more. I'm just going to miss every single one of those shots. And as you can see, right there. Uh, and there you go. So HPKC is giving away a CSGO key. Okay, whatever. Uh, as you can see, the howitzer back there hits its target perfectly, basically every single time. So I usually just leave it to fire on stuff on its own. Uh, and there's a mortar infantry back there that I probably just killed. No, there's one right there. Or grenade infantry, I guess. And they'll throw grenades basically randomly. Um, so keep that in mind. They, those, those infantry can and will hurt your turrets periodically. So, or emplacements, I should start calling them emplacements. Emplacement defense. Or towers, I guess I could call them. They're really not that threatening, but if you let them get close enough, they do have a chance of actually hitting you. Uh, and every time you see the fireworks going off in the back, by the way, that is uh, me launching the next wave. So I'm going to continue just launching them constantly, basically, because it looks better. It looks better when I'm actually having to try. Also, those wooden uh, walls that were right there, those actually block the advance of the infantry. So... Sadly, there should be some horses coming. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to have to focus on those. The horses can jump over stuff, so they basically take a somewhat straight line towards your uh, base there. Also, there's that vehicle off to the left side, if you can see that. Are you doing good in the back? Yep. It's off to the left there, I may as well start shooting at it now. It's a relatively easy thing to kill, it is the first enemy in the game that will fire at your turrets constantly, like that. So it's the first enemy that will actually have some sort of risk of hurting you, but he's dead, and there is the first level! Yay! Let's look at all my awesome firework bonuses. The faster you do it, the better time bonus you get, the better rank you get, stuff like that. I don't think it actually gives you any sort of unlocks. Also, I'm running it windowed, so periodically I will just throw my mouse off the side of the screen, so I apologize about that. But there's the first level, and I will see you guys for the next level.